Boxing. Just boxing, boxing, you know. Yeah, just pick him. Yeah. He, he, he hated it. Did he? he wanted me to have a war with him, and I said, I'm not going to have a war with you. I said, I'm just going to, I'm here to spoil with you mm. to help you get sharper. Yeah. Mm. If I start busting you up, it could, it could end. So, yeah, I got your back out of Plus, so exactly. Exactly. plus yeah. if I, it, it, plus, I'm not going to show him everything I've got. Yeah, but why you, would I? Could you know you throw a shot on him? Do you, could you feel like, yeah, man, I could trouble this guy. You of course, I could trouble him. You could trouble. So you mm. know your confidence. Of course, you're beating with ten ounce gloves mm. on. Of course, of course, yeah. I could. Uh, listen, right. I could. I could trouble every. I could, any middleweight, I could trouble. Super shall, we call, yes. shall we call him out now? And we get my retirement. You know. What I mean? <laughs> 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 you Again, we're on again, we're on again. Mm, yes. Thirteenth mm. and final round. Come yeah. on. We've got our guy John Keenan, Donovan Smiley, myself Ishan Pickering. Right. Mm. Very special guest in the building. Oh yes. Honestly, one of my favourite boxers, sweet 100. boxer, mm -mm. Fidel Castro Smith, Slugger mm -mm. O'Toole in the building, Woo! boy. Yeah. Here we well, go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Slugger O'Toole, yes. man. Where did the name come from, Slugger O'Toole? Yeah, come on. Came from Brendan Ingle. Bre oh, Brendan. Yeah, yeah. I was at Sheffield at Winkerbank Gym. Went in, um, sign up there, and went in for my first fight. He comes and we drive down to Birmingham, and he goes, uh, "How do you fancy being called Slow Road Tool?" I goes, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I goes, "Mate, it's Fidel." Yeah. Oh no, no, no! We're going to introduce you to Slow Road Tool. I goes, "You what?" That's the day you fight, That's he it. said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, the day of his fight, I'm fighting, I'm still going to the team. Wow. How many, how, how many the, hours notice did he give you? One. One. <laughs> that, <laughs> was, <laughs> that was it. As we're coming out the car, you still grow tall. That's wow. it. Did you That's like an name? Irish thing. Like Irish thing. Is yeah. that an Irish com wow. ca cartoon character? I don't know about the character or anything like that, but all I know is an Irish name and the thinking behind it, he, which he explained to me after, was that he told people, he, he, let, he thought it would be a good idea for people to think I was just a brawler yeah. when actually mm. I was a box fighter. Mm. So he thought that was smart man. Yeah, he's yeah. a beautiful boxer yeah. man. One of my mm. favorite you're, boxers. You yeah. you 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 box really. You got a good beautiful sharp, style. style. You yeah. got uh, even Smooth boxing. Even after I think. You got a bit of the Roy Jones. Listen, there. I'm gonna oh, don't set my oh, question. Oh, 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 we, oh, we like Roy Jones. We like Roy Jones. Man, yo, listen, man. Listen, I see one of your fights. I see one of your fights, and I see you go hip, right hand, right hand lead. Where do you get that from? Why, you know? Why? Listen, the man I used to love was Hagler. So Roy Jones was a bit too slick and Sugar Ray Leonard then, man. Yeah, but that right hand lead or you threw, where did you get that from? Where did you get an idea to throw it? I had to check dates because when I saw you, he's checking my question. I showed him. All right, see. Sorry, sir. I watched you do that and I was like, natural. That's like what Roy Jones would do, but I know you were before Roy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we used to study right. Yeah, yeah, but I was listen. I was one of them kind of reflex fighters, and I used to remember I did martial arts for about five years. Okay, what, what, what so, martial arts did he do? I did Wing Chun, yeah. Wadaroo, Shotokan, mm. Thai boxing, mm. and there's, there was Cal. another one. So nice. it was all about. I would just like to fight and I'd compete. Who so. was that with Fidel? Comrades and that. Yeah, oh, Comris. In, yeah, oh, in Comrades. Yeah, we used to train our medders, and we used to That's love. Um, I don't like to use the term, but we used to like to kick up, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do martial arts. We could have met. Yeah. You don't need tournaments. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah, I used yeah, to. Yeah, used yeah. to do tournaments. Okay, okay. I did. You know, semi contact to start off yeah. with first, mm. but you used to find out that they used to have favorite fighters, and so yeah. you get to a certain stage in competitions, was it, was and then FSK? and then you know FSK? you like yeah. You, yeah. you know you score points and they're not scoring it. You yeah. just think, nah, man, this ain't for me. Yeah. That so you, that's why I went into tire boxing, and and you can mm. not you know when basically knock people out. And I thought, mm. yeah, mm. Master Ronnie Green. A good oh yeah, right. all right, Ronnie yeah. Green, yeah, mm. so proper, can. proper, yeah, proper, That's proper, great Ronnie Green. Mm. Yeah. What year did you put first? Put the boxing gloves on. What got God, you into it? it? I don't know what year it was, but I think I was only twenty one. I think I was twenty one when I first started mm. boxing. Was that about fifty years ago? Wow. Ross, anyone else that's old? <laughs> Yeah, we're talking, yeah, we're talking about. No, you look good, Phil. Yeah, we're talking about twenty-seven years. No, more than that. Mm -hmm. Jeez. 80s. Twenty-seven years ago, something yeah, like that. flies, yeah. right? 
Time flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet people are saying, don't go in it, do the vaccine, don't go in it, do all, <laughs> in it. <laughs> well, they said it was too late to start, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be perfectly yeah, honest. And, um, mm. But because I was doing like the kickboxing and stuff, that my trainer at the time, um, he said to me that I needed to improve my hands, so mm, to mm. do the boxing. Mm. And when I started the boxing, I actually found it quite easy. Who did mm. you start with? What gym? What boxing what gym? What boxing gym was in Snenton? A guy okay. called Tommy Thompson. Yes, Tommy, yeah. he's still there, oh, you never feel doing yeah, bits. Yeah, yeah. still there, Tommy. never feel doing bits. Tommy, he yeah. was really, really still good about. on pads. used to have some good laughs with him as well and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, so that's where I started boxing and it just kind of felt easy because mm. when in martial arts, you got to look for attacks coming from two areas, not just the hands, but the legs as well. Mm. But in boxing, it's just coming from the hands. So I thought, okay, that's quite simple. It seems simple and out, but... Was it oh. simple? <laughs> <laughs> to, to start off with, of course. Yeah, yeah I yeah. found it quite simple because... The confidence you have from martial yeah. arts. So you know the movements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now knowing that you as a martial artist, I can see it in the boxing. Oh, you know, with your ah, movement, you know, the in and out movement yeah. that you make. Yeah. It's very... Because I come from a kickboxing background. I used mm. to fight the Wackos and FSK. Oh, right, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was on the British team with uh, Pelle Reid. Oh, oh Pelle, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. Pelle made the change over to... Box, Brendan's, box. Mm. and I'm like, that's only that I'm from Leeds, so it's only down the road, and I made the change. But I, I, I was chasing getting paid for doing it, right? And right. so back then, it was no MMA, or was there? So no, that's, no. That no, was that's the right, that that's was correct. the route into it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, wow, <laughs> yeah, similar backgrounds, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of us. How, how many amateur fights for them? I, I believe it's 20 amateur fights. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's it. I'd, I've won 17. You did a quick transition in, you have the amateur fights and get into the pros. Just go to pros, that yeah. Was well, Tom wasn't on my side. Yeah, yeah, that's such right, a, yeah. The only mm -hmm. and I, th I think the only reason I went pro was because I couldn't get any amateur fights. Yeah, yeah. Right. What took right. you to Brendan? Right. Um, Tommy Thompson. I didn't know who to go to. He, he just mm. says, look, I think you should go up to Sheffield and mm. Brendan's a good trainer. I think you should go up there. Yeah. No other reason. I didn't have no designs on really going professional at all. All right. I just wanted to do was, was fight. Mm. That's all I trained for. I love fighting. I so, you know, when you got to Brendan, obviously I've been to Brendan. We all been at Brendan's, yeah? yeah. Mm. When he get there. Obviously we used to do the open sparring. When they get down there, does he do body sparring? Body sparring so yeah. was it, what was it like the transition to do body sparring? So it went different? It was, How yeah, it was different. It? I found it, um, where do you get punched in the neck and that? I used to get neck outside. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they always do that, don't they? The outsiders punch in neck. Yeah, yeah. The money, you know, people who hit you in the face accidentally on yeah, purpose. Jason Collins. Jason Collins. Jason Collins. 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 before it landed, he went, sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't mind it to be yeah. fair, perfectly honest. Were you there when Naz was there? I was there when Naz was so there. So did you have a little sparring yeah, Naz? Yeah, Naz. And what was it like? As he's little, he's quick in it, but he's mm. little. And mm. but I've got decent speed, yeah, so yeah, I could. Yeah, I could yeah, yeah you're holding, you're holding, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah, 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 I could. Right, yeah, man, good. Yeah, man, I'm a bigger man. I could. <laughs> I could <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you do but, a lot of sparring with Harold Graham then? To was be, he there to, when you were there? He was there when I was there. Johnny Nelson was there, but yeah. Brendan yeah. was uh, obviously a smart man. He kept yeah. me. He kept me in our little part. We right. never ever sparred open. Right. Never oh, ever right. once. Yeah, yeah. Nah, because you knew that you're gonna fight him one day. Probably, well, probably fight might, 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 might potentially. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So just well, in case. Not in good fight. I think we were both yeah. competitive yeah. as such. Yeah. We, you know, you so got on with him though. You got on with Beryl, yeah. Pardon? You got on with Beryl, all right though. No, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, no, he still, still wants sad. to fight him. He still looks like that. Forget that foolishness. No, no, no. Person I got on best with uh, was Johnny Nelson. Yeah, yeah, Johnny's yeah. Yeah, man's got. He had funny lad, didn't he? Yeah, funny man. <laughs> he used to run him, yeah, he used to have enough choke with him. Mm. But he had he was a person who had all the physical attributes, mm. Mm. bags of talent, Different. but Skills. mentally he wasn't quite right. That's right. Mm. And now, mm. you know, no matter how he's to yeah, big turn around, like, big inspiration now, what he's done. Yeah, around. he, he, he once it, I mean, once it clicked, then, he, you know, he took off. Yeah. And and so it should be because he had all the physical attributes. But mm. yeah. what about Buster Keaton? Do you know Buster Keaton? I knew Buster Keaton did as well. Him? Mm. I didn't spar with him very much, yeah. but right. he, when I did, you know, he's he, tough, he's, he, yeah, he's he's tough. tough. He comes forward, he's cumbersome, but he can he can <laughs> negotiate that. We <laughs> interviewed <really, really, really laughs> Buster two weeks ago. Yeah, we had a yeah. really good, really good chat with Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nice guy. I do yeah. like that man. Yeah. What's your greatest memory? Can you, have you got one? Because I asked this to Glenn Rhodes and he was struggling. He said there was so many, but can you Greatest point anything man. out in uh, boxing? Best in your career? It could be anything. It can be when to you be honest, a kid. Um, I thought I thought this Frenchman. I can't remember his name. It wasn't Mongolia. It was a, this other guy, this Frenchman, and we, myself and Johnny, went over to France, 
and um, it, Johnny was my corner man, yeah, can yeah, you believe, yeah. back yeah. then days. Wow. And we, you know, we thought this, this French guy, he was like, I think he was ranked number two or three in France. I went mm. to videos, the underdog and such. And I just, I remember him coming on, I thought, it hit me a few shots. And he kept coming, I thought, what? This is a bit, this is a bit rough. Mm. So I up, kept, so he came in and I kept uppercutting him. Mm. And I uppercutted him to nonsense <laughs> and stopped him in like the second round. Mm. That was my, that's what I felt good about. Because wow. in the changing room, which I was in, mm. everybody came back battered and bleeding. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, the, you know why it goes. You're not when supposed you get to win in France. You're not supposed to win. No, You're no, not no, so no. I says, yeah. like, before I went out, I says, I ain't coming back like that. Mm. I'm going to deal with that man. Just, you know, that's and that's, it. And that's that was mentality. the mindset. And I dealt with him and I come back and everybody's looking at me thinking, oh yeah, mm. well done. I says, well, actually you're supposed to do the same kind of thing. Mm. Have the right mindset. You, you know? You know where that's come from? Being in the martial arts because the martial arts yes. is kill. Yeah. So you go in that mindset in the boxing. Strong mentality. It's strong. Mm. It's like, yo. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm strong mentality. With you. Yeah. Overcome. Yeah. You have to overcome. Warrior right. code, warrior code. Warrior. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, as, we, as we know, <laughs> the biggest thing in my mind and our mind was what I watched on TV. He went to Leeds, or was it York? No, it's Ellen Road. It's Ellen Road. Ellen Road. 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 So yeah. that was terrestrial TV Grand yes, as well. BBC One and I watched TV, this yeah. guy because. That was about 92. I've been boxing for yeah. about a year as an yeah, amateur. Yeah. Mm. And this guy boxed Henry Wharton and boxed his head off. Wow. Well, mm. I can't believe. Uh, terrible, and man. then they didn't give him the decision. Terrible, man. And I've ne listen, I'm not going to lie to you because I haven't mm. watched a fight since mm. the. Mm. And I, I, I kept meaning mm. to watch it before we come and I spoke watched it to yesterday. you. I watched it tomorrow. Before yeah, we come and spoke to you. Yeah. Beautiful boxing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? How Sleep did you feel jab. after that? Yeah, I got a good job. How did you feel yeah. after that fight? Um. A little bit disillusioned um, because I'd had a few. Be I've had a few bad decisions before that. You yeah. know, you go in people's homes, hometown, and you lose yeah. by a half a point, um, and you think, "Hold on a second, what's going off here?" Mm, mm, mm. Well, that was you know, point that's well. when you, re you know, that's when you really feel as if it, you know it's corrupt. Yeah, and yeah. that 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 left a bad feeling with yeah. me. Too. Like you're older now, you're older now, yeah. Mm. So the knowledge now and looking back at that fight, tell me. What have done? What what, what, they, what was their plan? What were they doing? Well, obviously their plan was to promote Henry Wharton yeah, to get why, too well. Why fight you? I think he had to. It's compulsory. He had to no, get the he, belt. He, he, he had, had to get, to get the, the belt. belt. And he ratings as well. Yeah. So if, 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 if Wharton beats you, yeah, he gets, he gets a bit quicker yeah. to push him for a title. Yeah. He went onto when they won the, the British. Then he went into the Commonwealth European. Yeah, didn't yes, he? that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what so he pushed yeah. him forward. Pushed him forward. Yeah. Was you a good ticket seller? No, I was. Um, so you, I'm, so I'm kind of like I'm, I'm. I'm like an old school, old school fighter. Where yeah. all I'm, con all I'm focused on is myself. Fighting, yeah. Mm. I did business about selling quiet, tickets. Yeah. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. So you're now, talking in a ring. Yeah. Mm. So yes. now, yeah. if you're knocking in South ticket now, if you went, if you could rewind back to when you were younger, yeah, yeah. would you be talkative? Would you would be loud you and fresh? Would you be the same? I, I, be the I, same? I don't think I'd be more talkative, but I certainly wouldn't carry fighters because one mm. of the things with yeah. blending. I just do sometimes. He says, "Oh, don't, don't knock him out. Yeah. Don't knock him hold out. Him, hold they'll him, hold him up." Yeah, I mean. did. And, and you know, and I'm here. And I was used to from amateur days beating people up. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. broken them up. But uh, Brendan says, "Oh no, no, don't don't beat him up. Just carry them and carry them." Oh, be, and I use, and that's how I got some bad decisions. Yeah. Wouldn't he be talkative and more outspoken so he can make some money? I think what Deed's trying to say know, is yeah, yeah. Know, social media. Social media. I, social media. I, I was never one of those yeah. talkative people. I was one of those, I, yeah. you know, watch just, what I do. action. Yeah, yeah, I'm an action man, you know what I mean? Yeah. You do, I, I'm not a talkie, I, yeah, I'm a doer. A doer yeah. So, you know, if you come to it with your mouth, I'm going to I'm gonna quieten it up for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that so it's, it's, it's good still. It's good yeah, still yeah. to have a mental yeah. thing. You know what I mean? But what are you doing now? What are you doing now, Fidel? What, you know, what's what's your life about? What, what's That's going about down? I'm working in, uh, you know, helping Jav with his gym, That's more or less. Yeah, I'm more or less, um, I could say I'm more or less semi-retired. You've got a lot to give as well to the young people. Yeah, I've tried fun. to pass on that. Martial arts background, like mixing with the boxing. You're doing well. Got the same mentality. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you've been around a few years now with, with uh, Jav. Mm -hmm. You've been yeah. together a long time, a lot of loyalty there. And, you know what I mean? You're good friends. Yeah, yeah, it's, cool. yeah, it's been a it's been a long time coming and such yeah. and but uh, I've helped out in gyms before and stuff. Yeah. Had my own gym, um, partnership. <laughs> yeah, mm. I, someone who wasn't mm. um, the best. <laughs> let's just say, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> didn't work out. But, but you know, Jeff asked me to help, and I mm. used to help him a couple of days a week. Now, it obviously, increases and such. Mm. Mm. And I just thought, you know what. 
there's no point me dying with all this knowledge that I've got. I need to pass it on. Pass it well, on. Thank you. That's and important. that goes for every that's other important. boxer out there who don't yeah. know what to do. You're a massive yeah. attribute, you Fidel. Mm. Massive attribute. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. The experiences mm. you've been through, mm. you know what I mean? 20, 30, 30 years ago, yeah. you know, you're, you're, these guys are making them mistakes that you've made and yeah. you can you can point them in the right direction. I'll tell you what, in I mean, all sports, but especially boxing, it's yeah. dying breed teaching. Yeah. Because, yeah. like I, a lot of people think because I'm heavy on my nutrition and strength and conditioning, that's what I do for a living now, and I help athletes, soccer players as well, football players and boxers. People think that I'm going to go all one way. But what I'm seeing with sports now is they are better conditioned and they are doing nutrition better. But now there's, we're forgetting the teaching element of it. You still have to be specific yeah. to the sport. Yeah, yeah. That stuff should be added to the teaching element of the sport. Yeah. So now, now it's just like, oh, you got knocked out, so all right, I'll train harder. Well, that ain't, ain't going to solve the problem. No. What, yeah. Why okay. did he get knocked out? Why did he get knocked out? Well, yeah. Absolutely. Let's go back to drawing board. Let's yeah. watch the tapes. Let's where yeah. were your feet? Where were your hands? What? Yeah. And that is what you have. Yeah, from the technical aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you find, but what I find with a lot of young people nowadays, they want to jump several steps before yeah. <laughs> before learning Bases. the basics. Yeah. You know, you need the foundations. Yeah. It's like building a house. Yeah. You got to put, you got to have the footings yeah. and the yeah. foundations yeah. in place like before you can yeah. put, before you like can build that. on. Yeah. But a lot of young people, a lot yeah. of the young people, they don't. You teach them a few things, and then mm. you know about stance and step, and then mm. they want to jump to, oh, I want to slip, I want to roll, I want to mm. do this, and mm. deliver, mm. and they can't, and they can't execute it. And I mm. say, and I explain to them. The reason you're not executing it is because your foundations ain't right. You know, your footing ain't right. Mm. You haven't got the basics. Mm. And, and things and take, see, things and take takes time. time. It takes time. And I told them, you've got to keep practicing yeah. it. But over and over. Over yeah. and over. It gets over over repetition. Over. Repetition. That's repetition. All That's, all That's yeah. what the top guys do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, on Patience. Way, guys like this. Andre Ward, they come in the gym and they're going in front of a, of a mirror for now, looking at themselves this the shadow box like the, you know what I mean they slow it yeah. down as well slow it absolutely down. Even, like, even I get Fred asked to do classes all the time mm. and then people say oh I don't really like it and I say why and they were like oh we didn't hit the pads enough yeah. so you want a boxer size class so here's a yeah. phone number of a guy I knew does box size never boxed in his life by the yeah. way yeah. but you can go and hit the pads with him because if you're doing it with me you're going to learn how to move right. your feet because yeah. this that's is boxing. Best, that's, boxing. Yeah, that's, that's a correct yeah. way to do it as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why though, my, my students are staff. But well, basically, with my students, I start to get the fitness right. Why am yeah. I doing yeah. fitness? Because if I put in the bags and you're blasting the bags and you get tired, so I'm going to get you fit first, yeah. and then we're going to gradually build uh -huh. on that and you'll understand mm -hmm. why you're fit. Why you need and then when you get on the bags, they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yes. Fundamentals. Yeah. You, fundamentals. Can't, you can't build a house on quicksand and sink. You've got to train it all first and then... Absolutely. Mm. Are you a fan of the game now, Fido? Do you like what's going on? Do you like yeah. the scene? Well, yes, it's. Uh, I do still like it, you know. Um, do you I like the publicity and the, the, the aura that's around yeah. it. And a lot, of people, a lot of people, more the interest that it's generated. A lot more yeah. of a show yeah. now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. definitely it's, a show. There's a lot more money about. Mm. Well, I've not yet to see that, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the boxes, for the boxes, and, you know... There are opportunities for them to make good yeah. money now, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, and that's Your what time's going to come, mate. Uh, Who's? Your time's, time's going to come. Time, I don't believe so. No, as a coach, <laughs> as a coach and yeah, a, as a, a trainer. Coach. Well, yeah. as I say, you've got to have the fighters and the people that's got to want to that's buy right. themselves. That's you right. You know, and... Um, I suppose a lot of people that we get with at the gym, mm. um, they like the they like the glory, mm. but, they don't but they don't like the the, the, uh, hard, the work. hard work that's yeah. involved and the sacrifices mm. that you Not have a to lot make. Of boxes do. Mm. It's um, so there's that yeah. you know you got to get those one or two that mm. will mm. Uh, commit themselves. It's a life sacrifice yeah. and a yeah. life. It's, it's, it's a life. That's, 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 that's a game. That's a game. Mm. It's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. You, you've got you know I mean? you've got to mm. want it to do you know it, and yeah. both myself and Jav mm. we want it for uh, uh, sometimes as we more, want than it more than them more than them yeah, yeah, yeah. more than them I said to this before I said this before I said this before I had a I had two twins mm. Mm. from eleven years old Sonny oh, man, Danny yeah. they've got to twenty mm. yeah they want to do their own thing now I mm. put nine wow. years in mm. put so nine years in it's tough it's tough isn't it tough wow yeah. It's hard, years, isn't it? It's hard. It's hard. Switch it's hard. Yeah. What can you do? The big grown men. The great, yeah, that's it. They, they make their own choices. Their you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, but 
This is life. Yeah. It is, well, we do mm. our best thing. We do what we can for them to try mm. and influence them, to try and get them in the right mm. way. Mm. And But at the, ultimately, it's their decision. You yeah, know, yeah, Jab's right. even, mm. Jab's gone to the state extent where he's now wanting to run with them yeah. before the lesson. Exactly. <laughs> See, my the, Jab's making a comeback. Yeah. <laughs> you see what it is? Yeah. <laughs> when, when, the older we get now, yeah. right? Even the kids say, oh, look at you, think that we can't do it. That's why we go running with them. Yeah. That's why we do a Absolutely. circuit. So look, I can yeah. do it. Absolutely, we, we show them the example. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I do sometimes. Yeah. I do circuits yeah. with them just to show them. You or know. am I going to ring? You, you, can, you can actually make the yeah. times. And yeah. I or am I going to ring? My old self, I mm. can still do it. Yeah. But you know, faster than you guys, that's not on. Mm. That's you know, so no. But if they see you mentality. doing it, yeah, it pushes them to do it. Yeah, just so like going it. in the ring. Yeah, I bet you have a little spa sometimes. Oh yeah. Body spa. Only to the body. Yeah, Only yeah, to the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next four <laughs> days are done, man. Next four days So you understand? Yeah. You're going to ring and feel, yeah, man. What is good for you? Yeah. It's, it's developing you Absolutely. as well, your fitness as well oh, as yeah. them. Yeah. And if would, you, would, you, would you say the way you and Jab teach is, and I think this is massively important, but I don't know this as, as you as a trainer, so I'm going to ask, that the life skills you that you pass on are just as important as what you teach them at boxing, how they conduct themselves, how they conduct their life. You know, the things that you've learned around the yeah. game, ins and outs. Of yeah, I, b I believe so, because, you know, we talk about boxing, but then we talk about our life, how it impacted mm. on the boxing mm -hmm. in terms of what things we needed to Went do through. in order to make, in mm. order to make that level of success. Mm. Mm. You know, so that is important for them to know and understand mm. Mm. on what's mm. involved. Mm. Um, so, yes. I would say what I've learned through the whole time being around boxing, being around boxing for 30 years now, the ins and outs and everything I've experienced that, the, the stability is more important than ability. Yes. Yes. Consistency. Because yeah. you can have all the ability in the world, but if you don't have a stable so, life, yes. a wife, yeah, kids, yeah. whatever yeah. is going on, whatever. stability. Yeah. Stable. The right yeah. decisions. Right. Yeah, yeah. You sure. need the right decisions. It's, it's yeah. like Jav was saying that he had to work, work, work. look yes. after his wife, look after his kids, as yeah. well as trying to chase Box. his dream. Yeah. That's and, right. and, that, and that that is trying to hold that stability together which sometimes can be very difficult I think yeah. a lot of boxers yeah. um, gone through that been through that oh we all got yeah, you know I what I mean the, all, yeah. the, the other yeah. box the boxers that were up there quick like one of the ABAs and everything got sponsorship yeah. and everything they had it easy yeah. where me you Myself, each, yeah. you had to, we had to work and also to work yeah. and make some money yeah. you know what I mean yeah, to buy absolutely. protein buy gloves you wear the same little <laughs> gloves you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> stuff like that yeah absolutely it's hard it's, it's a difficult one because yeah. some of the fighters I work around and I talk to, they're getting sponsorship now and naming no names because I don't want to get personal. Mm. But I don't think they really appreciate what it was like they're, when we was trying they're to chase realize. No, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. Yeah. They, no. do. they don't understand no. like, that, you know, we're having to work and yeah. then shuffle around your training. Yeah. To accommodate that, yeah, so you know yeah. that you can live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get a sponsorship, then your whole life, you know, yeah. you've got a nice, nice set of yeah, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy training. Even the the guys on GB now, they 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 their their sponsorship is more than a paid more job. More than a paid job. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, mean? I know that. Wow. I know that. It's, it's like you say, a kid is born with a golden spoon. Mm. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. Yeah. It's, it's like that. Yeah. I remember a guy who used to train. This is before I was with Jav and um, Ricardo. Something he was with um, oh, Team GB. Yeah, 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 Ricardo. He was yeah. a very good boxer, very, very good. good. And but he, he went with Team GB. Yeah. And they made him box a certain way and fight. Yeah. And says, "What yes. you doing? Yes. yes, that's not what got you." And it, it, it yeah. kind of messed him up. Yeah. So he was he was being taught by me and I, uh, my my way, which was quite successful. Yeah. Being elusive and stuff. That um, got him to GB. That, that so got why him to GB. It? And when they got him, it's a they tried to change it. That's a weird. difficult because it still goes on now. So yeah. some, some of the trainers that I work alongside with, they've got fighters on GB and they've had to say, right, do what they tell you to do through the week. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you yeah. come yeah. over at the weekend, we do yeah. what we yeah. do. Well, I was, there's a saying, one cannot serve two masters. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I told him. I, I like that told him. one. I never heard that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can't say that's mean, Bible uh, scripture. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> that's preaching. Preach, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, so it, it for me it messed him up a little bit. Yeah. To yeah. be fair, you know. Um, he did go pro. He won. I think he won four, but he wasn't a big puncher. Politi yeah. The politics, politics beat Ricardo. Yeah, yeah. Throws yeah. Him politics out. throws yeah. him out. Yeah, yeah, politics right, beat right, him. Right, right, right. Yeah. He got he got out of the game because he could have had a good career. Yeah. So mm. Ricardo, if you're listening in, we're probably gonna come and see you. Mm. Mm. Well, he's in America now. Is Was he? he? Yeah, he got his, uh, he got his fourth science over, degree. And he's we'll gone get to a America. smart guy. Fly well, over, we'll get a sponsorship or fly over there. We'll chat to you over there. When we go and see RJ and Kevin Kelly and that, that's right. Give me a shout. RJ, he's good man. Good man. Could you just? 
like I wanted to ask you a question. Like when you saw Henry Wharton after that go on to do what he did, how how did that make you feel? Um, by I mean obviously by by then I'm I think I'm in my early thirty, around about thirty. So I'm, I'm mm. a bit wise. I understood I understood what was happening. Yeah, yeah. you know mm. politics, the politics yeah. of the yeah. game. Mm. So it didn't. It didn't annoy me or frustrate me or, or anger me yeah. at all. I like that because I because I, like I because I knew what because I knew the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's good. So uh, so what do you when you knew, if you knew the game, what do, could you do to what did what did you do? <laughs> yeah, you understand. The, the only way. It, but if you knew I, the game, I, couldn't, what do you do? I couldn't really change my circumstances unless yeah, you're yeah, with, yeah. unless you're with the right promoter. That's right. And that's it. That's the bottom yeah. line. Do you that's know what cool. you'll find though, right? Because I know we're talking boxing today, but you'll find if you work, we've all. I'm sure we've all done these things yeah. after watching from boxing. I ended up working at a call center, yeah. and ended up doing other jobs. And it's in the workplace. Yeah, it's where it is. I see people getting promoted to. Yeah. Team leader, I'm like, Same. he's only been two minutes, but because he's yeah. kissing the manager's ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, human nature, as Brendan Same. always said, it never changed. Yeah. If you're in the right place at the right, right time, time, or your face fits the picture, fits. You, have, you, have, you, fit you have to make these decisions. Are yeah. you going to go with Are you going to be integral? Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna be. You're gonna keep your integrity and yeah. and do what's right back for you, or you're gonna sell yourself a little bit to move ahead. Thank you. So we got them decisions to make. Yeah. As people, you're responsible right? for yourself. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. You know what I mean. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, um, what was you feeling when you saw uh, uh, Henry Watt fight Eubank? Well, I knew, I knew Eubank would beat him, yeah. and um, I was, as I said, I wasn't frustrated. Mm. The, mm. Only, the only, the only time I think I've been frustrated with inboxing it is such as when I watch Eubank get his opportunities before me, right? Because he fought for the British title before me. I think you know, how's yeah. that? Right. How can that be? Right? Did you know, did you, you have to sell tickets? Him. Of course, of course. Right. It was, yeah. that's what the Banks thing was. Well, no, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying, yeah. British really, title. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's why. Yeah, it was the name. Yeah. Well, why yeah. is he getting opportunities? I, I want. How would you have done with you, Banks, if you had a chance? Well, I sparred with him. Yeah, um, yeah I, did Danny, I sparred with him in Brighton when he was getting ready for one of his fights, and uh, I boxed him. Just boxed him, boxed you know. Him. Yeah, just pick him. Yeah. He, he, he hated it. Did he? he wanted me to have a war with him, and I says, "I'm not going to have a war with you." I said, "I'm just going to. I'm here to spar with you." To help you get sharper. Yeah. If I start busting you up, it end. could it could end. So yeah, right. I can't get back at it. Plus, so exactly. Exactly. plus, yeah. if I, it, it plus, it, I'm not going to show him everything I've got. Yeah, but why would you, I? Could you know you throw a shot on him? Dude? Could you feel like yeah, man, I could trouble this guy. Of course, course I could trouble him. You could trouble him. So you know your confidence. Mm. Of course, you're being with ten ounce gloves on. Of course, of course, yeah. I could. Uh, listen, right. I could, I could trouble every, I could, any middleweight. I could trouble. So yes. we call, yes. call him out now and get my retirement. You know. You could look. And I thought right. I'm not going to be That's bitter a good in my decision, life. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's a little bit like what Jav was saying. That he he knew when to walk away. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was like, and the punches were just missing. You know, just yeah. a fraction yeah, out. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, yeah, step out of that and do something. Yeah, so 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 um, you know, your weight and everything was okay because sometimes when you don't do your weight properly, your timing goes as well. You know, do you think it's something to do with that? No, the no. preparation for that fight wasn't good. It wasn't no. great. I, right. I think I move with a trainer down there I think it was uh, mm. the late Dean Powell or was training yeah, Powell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it wasn't it wasn't the tr- well the, the preparation wasn't yeah. the best yeah. mm-hmm. um, I had question marks about it and mm. so, so I if, knew it wasn't quite right so if you knew it wasn't quite right why did you go into the fight because you, you, you fight it's a fight I'm a fighter, <laughs> I'm a fighter. That's that's fighter. Well, that's it. it's a wage <laughs> it's, it's a wage a, it's a fight yeah. Yeah. No, no, and I like and I like fighting fight. so yeah. I'm preparing for a fight so I fight mm. that's yeah. what I do yeah. you know so uh, so yeah. when you walked out there now and you knew back of your head you haven't prepared right but were you trying to get around it and just get that aggression get that yeah, yeah, yeah. you were trying you said, yeah, you did, did you find it. it did you find what you were looking for when you're walking out no no so you went in there 
Like, did you know no what? Plan. I think what he's trying to say. Yeah. Well, after that fight, did you know it was no time before? But I just thought, I just thought it was, I, for me, it wasn't necessarily the performance. It was, mm. I say, it, it was a decision. Survival. It was, it was like that half. I just thought half. You a lost point heart, again. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Half a point, and I just heart. thought, I thought, nah, not. You lost heart, thought, man. That, that, didn't that, want that, that annoyed me, and I thought, I don't want another one of those because it'll be more because the effects could be can break you down. It could be, it could be more long. It could be long term. Yeah, it could hurt. You know, so I says nah. Psychologically, no, I don't need that. Some people don't get out of boxing. We've talked to quite a few people now, and some people they don't get out as good as they should have done and now yeah. they have mental health issues yeah. and depression I and fully understand things. that because we was talking about this last night on a phone call with Isham that we boxers are like soldiers you know come back from war and then you're in society mm. and you get your boss at work is trying to talk to you a certain way yeah. you know, and, and boxers are programmed a certain way and they're alright as long as you don't talk to them yeah. that way do yeah. you understand what I mean I yeah. remember being at a call center, my manager, like, not just shouting and talking to me, he threatened me, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now we're going to spin it to move in and yeah. some yeah. soul singing, out. if you can't be <laughs> talking to you know what I mean? Yeah. And we don't ever really get out of that, so we find that coming towards, we have to find our place in society where yes. we're comfortable. And a lot of us find it back as trainers, managers, yeah. around where we're going to get that box game. A yeah. lot of it, yeah, a lot of yeah. them do. I actually didn't. I think we, because I was working in social care yeah. at the same time. Right, same I was as me. Focused, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I maintain that. Yeah. yeah. Support. Yeah. Are you support yeah. working? Support. No, I was. Uh, no, what I was. I worked in residential. Yeah, children's residential. Right and yeah, I was just, like, I was an assistant manager and stuff. No, that's that's, working. that's so very good. I did that. As well. working. Working. Yeah. I bet the kids were like buzzing with you, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. You get really giving well back, man. Could give giving back to them as well. Yeah, kids. Absolutely. Good stuff for the community. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah I, I did a little bit as well. I worked for a company called Nacro. <coughs> Nacro, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And the kids always respected me. Cause they do, because they just, do. We could yeah. talk their language. Yes. Because we understand how understand. they feel. And especially to know Absolutely. that you're a boxer, they respect you more. Yeah. You can do stuff from like, you know, help them out, get rid of the aggression, aggression. Yeah. shamble it into the pads. Absolutely. And they love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they, you know, all said and done, when we get to the end of our life, you know, the money in the bank account or the big TV ain't going to matter, but memories are going to matter. How that's much, right. what we left, what we added to the world yeah, before we left, it's a rewarding feeling because I know that looking back on my life, there's certain individuals, a couple of individuals that if they hadn't been with me, I tried to commit suicide twice in my life, I'd have been gone. Right, but them okay. two individuals that stood by me and directed the shape of my life, it's, mm. you understand what, that's so important. We're doing more wow. than what we know for yeah. people yeah, there's always Dinner. one or two individuals that you lean on and, and stuff that influence you. Mm. You know, I uh, found that as well. Who's, um, your rock, who's your rock now, John? Who's <laughs> my wife's well, <laughs> now. Your rock. The boss behind the camera. <laughs> what about you, Fidel? you got a family and stuff, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Are you, are you oh, together? Yeah. you got a relationship? Family, yeah, I'm in kids. a relationship. Yeah, I've been married with kids and stuff. Right, my kids well, are growing up, man. Nice. So, yeah, yeah nice. but I'm still good with them. they doing mm. well and they're doing okay? Yeah, they're all doing well. We've got the um, youngest, uh, she's at UNA, she's finished, she's qualified now, she's mm. a nurse. That's good. Wow, um, good. The one's in, he's in social care, mm. mm. in social care, one mm. of them does personal training. So, wow, they're all good people. They're all good kids. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so. that's yeah. Good, that's yeah good. man. That's good, man. So Fidel, I want to actually ask you a question. You know when you uh, came out of boxing and you was looking for something else to do in life to find a fulfillment, what, what, what direction did life take? Well, uh, because I was already working in social care, um, I thought, well, what I need to do is actually pro is try and progress in that particular field. Yeah, right. And Working for the local authority, I thought, for me, I thought it was like a glass ceiling mm. and you could only get so far and I watched other people get promoted as such and I thought, hmm, they're not, they're not really as talented, as, um, as capable as what I am. Right. So what I decided to do was um, I set up a company with a, a, fr with a friend of mine and another person and we, we developed we wow. set up for residential children's homes, so which cool. we which was relatively successful. Mm -hmm. um, one or two issues arose with the partners there mm -hmm. and um, so we ceased so that got so yeah. we stopped doing that and then went into semi-independent mm. units yeah, and provided some yeah. kind of accommodation yeah, for young people mm. and um, that was that was quite successful as well they developed certain systems which they use with throughout in actually the, the local authority today wow. the systems which we use 
Um, they don't want to tell us that they actually mm. plagiarised our systems, but mm, uh, mm, we mm. know what they actually did. Mm. And what and I think what I learned from that is that you can achieve whatever you set your mind to, and you if you're committed. And I suppose, and one mm. of the things what boxing actually helped me do, mm. it helped me be dedicated and focused and be and persevere so that you can actually achieve what you want. Mm. And um, it's one of those disciplines that you take through life and what I try to impart onto fighters and mm. onto my children. You know, that if you really want something, if you really want to do something, you got to stick at it. Mm. You know, mm. do, the, do the groundwork and be committed. Mm. And that's what I... And that's that's what beautiful, I that's Fidel. Really that's really giving back, yeah. man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's so, giving uh, back. That's big. Hoping that, and, and the biggest driver for me when I was doing these... Um, you know, when he, in these companies, was actually to help the kids. Mm. That was my biggest driver. Was, Love it. it was more about the kids rather than the money. Mm. You know, mm. and but I found out people that were in it were just mainly for the money, mm. and that and for me, I found that really frustrating. Mm. You mm. know, um, in that kid with the kids and that, yeah, the outcome. You know, like kids got to leave and move yeah. on. Mm. Um, have you met any kids on the road and have you seen how they've changed? Oh, yeah, I know that your work. Your well, work has well, been put into. I tell you, there's been a f there's been a few of them that I've seen yeah. uh, since, and they've and what have every they? single one of them has said to me, Fidel, what you was telling me, you're absolutely right. You were well, so right. Mm, that's good. You're mm. so true. And that's I wish, I, I wish I'd have listened to you earlier. Mm. You know, because when you're working in these environments, you don't the the, the profits of what all the, the the seeds of what you sow, you don't mm. particularly see at the time. Yeah, it's yeah, only yeah, later yeah, in life yeah, when yeah. they've taken on those lessons and they mm. think, actually, yeah, this guy mm. was right. I should have done this and mm. I will do that now. Mm. You know, but I wish they would um, take the advice sooner. Yeah. But it's so difficult when they've got other it. pressures. That's, sometimes that's they have to make their own mistakes. Though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but sometimes they make mistakes and they can't really get out of it. They can't get out of it as well. Whether well, they regret it. Yeah. Mm. You know and what I mean? it's, yeah, it's all about everybody working together yeah. and being in the, being committed to the right cause. But for me, the cause is actually the young person in terms mm. of helping them make the right decisions at the right time. But I'd find that with, and this is a bad thing to say, mm. but other professionals mm. don't hold that same, that that genuine want, no, yeah, uh, you know, and care for the young person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually don't. I know what, you know, the young people sense that as of well. Of course. Of you know, course, when they want to they speak know. to the come to you because they know they can trust you. They know who anything. they know who genuinely yeah. cares and who don't. Mm. You know, a lot of professionals take the easy decisions. Well, it's mm. easy to do just or just do that, just give it them. Mm. You know, rather than actually say no, they, they need structure, they need boundaries. Mm. You know? So I'm saying this guy now talking. You know, you got to take this advice. You know, what I mean, you got to yeah, take this advice. And yeah. if you look, all the people tuning in, listening in, you know, what I mean, this is life defining for mm. me. Do how, I mean? how do you find it each because you work in the same area as well residential yeah with the kids bring them something back to them yeah and, the, and you, you see the change in the young people mm. yeah. and you can say look i can see that and he's mm. respecting you yeah I'm saying we're getting it's deep good now. it's good to yeah. see i want to actually it's say good. something this is what me and each had a conversation last night so after boxing for me i tried to commit suicide because i became disillusioned mm. by everything trained professionally trained around Six world champions greatest, didn't even get yeah. a, didn't even get a professional fight because of the politics, couldn't deal with it, and walked mm. away. And I tried to commit suicide. I came back from it, and when I came back from it, I found my wife, who I'm now married to twelve years, who led me to the Lord, and mm. then ended up being Bible school, and ended up being uh, a leader in the church, oh, right, looking man. after people, young men, yeah, mm. mainly the men's pastor of the church, looking after. A lot of the guys were like what you were saying, yeah, and helping them the direction okay. of life, and them looking up to me, and and then knowing that I was a boxer, it automatically uh, it, it got that respect for them. Respect. Like if the man's yep. man in the room can open his emotions and say he loves and say he cares, yeah, it automatically brings down barriers because they look at you a certain way, and I know for a fact that they would have seen you the same way. Yeah, yeah, I did. I always had a good relationship with the young people. There. Yeah. I could mm. always relate to them, I do, and mm. I used to think, well, maybe because I'm a bit childish, but I don't no, think. No, I think no, it was no. more than. I think mm. it was more than that. They could yeah. sense that I genuinely cared, and mm. the decisions mm. I made was about mm. their welfare, yeah. and their health and well-being, mm. mm. and um, I always had that affinity with the young people. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, one thing that the the guys tune in what will understand about fighters is we don't a lot of the time as fighters we think with the heart, not the head. 
Yeah. But to yeah. be able to get hit in the face and do what we do, you have to be leading with the heart, not the head, because most rational people are thinking, I don't want to get hit. Yeah. So we are actually more sensitive, more affectionate behind closed doors yeah, definitely. than normal men. Definitely. And, yes. and with the Please. ones that we love, we can express that. We can't express it to everyone, but to be able to make change to other people's life, it takes a heart thing, not a brain not thing, brain. because most people are all like what you said about the money or what are they getting from the what situation? Yeah, you know what I mean? Feeling. So, you know, I felt it when you spoke then. Yeah, and the kids feel it. The kids you know, yeah. feel it. I felt it what you were saying and I can resonate with it. That's a great message. Great yeah. message again, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. you got you got to, you can't uh, big that up enough really, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I suppose from uh, for me and my life, ex my experiences, life experience up to yeah, now is yeah. that you know, it, it's about dedication, but it's about mm. caring as well. Mm. You have to care you whatever you're doing. You have to mm. care Love about that. what you're doing. Mm. You know? Love that. Are you uh, religious? Um, Pardon? A religious person. If you I'm like. not. I'm actually not a religious person. No, no. Well, I just be, I, my belief yeah. is actually doing right by yeah, people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know. It, you know. Mm. I suppose that's a religion in itself. Do yeah, right. Yeah. Just do right by the people. Right. Listen, there's, there's some people yeah, who are not Christians who've got more Christian oh, values than some Christians. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I know well, some Christians who aren't Christians. Yeah. Anyway. You tell me this, you tell me this, like, mm. you can go to church, mm. you can go and pray in the church, you can mm. do what you want in the church, then you come out of that church, mm. what are you doing? Mm. What are some people doing? Mm. Some people go to the mosque, they come out of the mosque. What they're doing when they come out of the mosque? Yeah, you know, God sees are everything. Are you, are you yeah, but good, God, God's not blind. Are you a yeah. good person outside when you come out? Mm. And you know, mm. you you're yeah. not tripping people up. You're not, not trying to pull it? people no. back. Mm. Mm. Just be right by others. Yeah, you that's, know right. that's right. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter what your religion well, is. It yes. doesn't matter what your skin color is. It's how you treat people. how you treat people. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know, because oh, and I believe that. If there was, and we're getting real deep now. Oh, if, no, there was a good, good. if there was a person, if there was a person, I believe in God, but they're doing everything which is against treating other people's right. God sees everything, but there's people out there who maybe haven't made that decision to call the Maker God, but yeah. do everything right by people. That's God it. sees that in my yeah. eyes as true, right. because okay. you're treating yeah. people with respect and beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. how it should yeah, be. Man. You know what I mean? Is how, we yeah. should live yeah. our lives. That's yeah, how, that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. You're living the right life, man. Yeah, yeah man. You know it is. Man, I don't want to leave this now. I want to turn on this. I'm going to say to myself. I'm going to be crying. 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 I'm going to be yeah, yeah? in fact, I met you this morning on TV. Oh, <laughs> right? I was but educating him. I, All right, I can you. feel, you know what I mean, your passion, your love. Yeah, you can feel you it. You have respect for everybody. I can feel it. Yeah. You're a good, good person. Guy. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Big heart. I, Big heart. I, wish, yeah, I wish you'd trade me. Because we would have gone together, man. You know what I mean? Whoa. <laughs> You're a good guy. Oh, yeah. Dee's yeah. making a comeback yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Dee's yeah. making a comeback again. Oh, no. White colour. White colour. Yeah, yeah, man. Cross the arms over. George from the defence. Listen, before we close this episode of the podcast I don't like to leave anything behind is there anything we else you listen, want to talk listen about listen to me where can we, people listen, find you Fidel. on social media social I'm not I keep saying I'm not really too social quiet, I'm person. I'm too where can we find you 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 show the badge show the badge show the badge show the badge yeah 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 man close the academy so that's where can find if you want to find Fidel you've got to do it through Jeff yeah, Kalik, but right. you know, Jeff Kalik's out there, so yes. you know, if you want to get to Fidel. Advice. If you want advice on life, life. this is his idea, even anything, I can, I'll be there to support Perfect. You can't find him online. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the people on that camera right there where they can find you. You can't find me at <laughs> Jawi Kalik Boxing Academy. That's where you'll find Former me. Former British champion. Football. If you resonated with anything Middle you said eight. and you want a chat, the yeah. man's open for you. And he also trained you as well, he's a good trainer. I even right. train Jav. There you go. Train so Jav. Go. Train Jav. Earth is Commonwealth and IBU yeah. title yeah. fight. Yeah. So yeah. Man, the man's all Two heart. Fans, the man's all, all heart. heart. Yeah. Take us out, Ish. Take us out. I'm taking his out, man. Well, I'm taking his well, out. Don't ever out. Listen to me. We're all boxers here. We're confused. You're all swerving it. I'm not swerving it. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. You take us out. Big respect to you guys out there. We love this guy, Fidel. Thank you for coming. We'll be yeah. back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Right. We'll be back. Yeah. And with that, 
We're live. We out. We All out. Right? We out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification button. We out. All right. All right.